Gareth Fowles, um, founder and music director of Serendipity The Choir. Um, we started the choir in 2008 as a result of people asking me, basically, to start a choir. People had been uh, singing in various groups in the Highlands and were interested in uh, a slightly larger group that uh, was doing different repertoire from things that had already existed. And so that's sort of the basis on which we started so that um, there were opportunities to, for people to sing a wide range of, of music. And so I've been involved in choral singing and music all of my life and it's a source of great joy. My name's Anne and I'm the accompanist for Serendipity the Choir. I also sing sometimes. Um, we do a range of both unaccompanied and accompanied music, so my, my role changes as, depending on the piece. I also was a school music teacher. I grew up in a family where singing around the piano was just something that we always did. I play the piano as my main instrument because I was a music teacher. I also play a range of other instruments, most things but not strings. Well, I do the strings. That's right. <laughs> because the violin used to be my major instrument. I always wanted to play the harp, but uh, that never happened. But I did play violin up to a reasonable standard, but then um, developed what they would now call RSI, but it was just a lot of pain. And so I changed to singing as my major instrument. When we both retired, we um, had a desire to continue teaching in some other way other than in schools. So um, Bundanoon seemed to be a really good place to explore a community choir, skills that we had, skills that people wanted. Um, so we, we formed the choir. It's um, a group of people who just love singing. Some of them can't read music at all. Some have postgraduate doctorate degrees in music education or music of some other sort. I can hardly remember a time when I wasn't singing in a choir uh, and I very vividly remember the magic moment when I first experienced the joy of singing in a choir that was singing in parts. Um, I was in year five in primary school. I wouldn't have been able to put into words what the magic feeling was. Uh, but I now know, of course, looking back, and on all the choral experience since then, uh, that what I was experiencing was a very particular thrill that's available to any human who takes part in music making, in concert with others, but especially choral singing. My mother was a music teacher. She did special music uh, training and, and she led choirs both in primary school and, uh, and, and church choirs. So there was a musical inheritance from her as well. Fortunately, my mother I, had encouraged me to learn the piano when I was young, so I, had, I was able to read music and uh, that's been a, an enormous assistance to me but um, this is certainly the first significant choral experience that I've had. Somewhere between two and three, in Janolan Caves and the guide in the Cathedral Cave was saying it was perfect acoustics and who would sing and in the crowd no one would do it so I put my hand up and said I will and so I sang Walsing Matilda and the crowd liked it so then I sang Baba Bat Sheep as an encore and I really loved it and it made me happy because everyone seemed to like it. So I guess that's how I got caught into it because I could see it made people happy. So Sarah 
serendipity offers something else because it's small and you can hear people's contributions much more than a 200 or 150 piece you know, choir. Yes, we do a, a very wide range of music, uh, from very early music of the uh, 12th century. Uh, we sing jazz, folk, classical, baroque, um, sacred, secular. choristers can download them and learn their parts, which means that when we come to actually start the rehearsal, almost from the very first rehearsal, they can make music together, which is really satisfying. We can actually sing, and uh, that's really exceptional for a choir, which is basically um, here in a, a very small country town. There is no audition for it to be in the choir. We, we have to keep a balance, and that's the only discriminating factor as to who can join. When uh, we moved to Bundanoo, that was just we just felt really at home in Bundanoo. And one of the first dinners that we attended at the local hall where we practice now, um, a lady came and said, I'm thinking of starting a choir and would you like to be involved? Because I think our builder had heard me singing in the house. So um, I said, Oh yeah, I'd love that. So that rekindled the love that I had for singing. 
going to choir practice is just a highlight of my week, really, because um, we get together, we all love the same thing, we all have a laugh together, um, as well as um, just, you know, extending ourselves musically. And I've learned so much. Um, we started with 27 in our very first concert, which was in May 2008, and the title for that was The Darling Buds of May, which of course was the name of a, a very popular BBC television series. And uh, of those 27 original singers, we still have 15 uh, singing in the choir today. So. Today, um, I'm happy to say that music is quite a big part of my life. I was one of the original members of Serendipity and I've been with them now as long as the choirs existed. I love what the choir is really, it's, it's, um, it's really making a noise which is so nice that people come and listen to us and that's terrific. Is, seems to be out of our range. Southern Highlands is extremely blessed in having serendipity as a choir and that only is because the serendipity was that Anne and Kerith moved here and they have the wonderful generosity of giving their enormous prodigious gifts to the community in presenting it with the choir called Serendipity. We are a Highlands Choir, 50% or so of the members are from Bundanoon, but the rest are from all over the Highlands, from Robertson, um, Braemar, um, Tullong, um, you name it, there's a, someone from Serendipity lurking in the bushes somewhere there.